Cryptid segment brought to you by Electric Terror 666, maker of psychedelic, colorful, spooky art, prints, stickers, buttons, pins, and t-shirts. Find them on Instagram at electric underscore terror 666. The number of the beast. Okay, but for real, though, let's bring this down for a minute here because I need to tell you guys how excited I am that we have a listener story. We know. Love listener stories. Mm, I love, love listener it. stories. Are mm. it. I okay. get so excited when I see one. Um, All right, set the tone. Calm down, everybody. Let's yeah. get a little set spooky Set the tone. Time. <laughs> time to get a little spooky in here. I have to, I have to, I have to bring time it up on Instagram. Put, for, for once, let's put the scare in scaredy. You said you sent it to me, but I can't see it, oh so I'm going to have to go on Instagram and do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. See, if only, if only what you got it, you got it. Sweet, here we go. This is oh, I actually bought something. I bought okay, sorry, that's really cool. Uh, what this person that yes. sent this story in, yes, has stuff at uh, for sale at Evil Izzy's. Oh, I bought something oh. from Evil Izzy's from this person. Who this is, is this really person? cool. They are Ali's Alley, that is. Uh, this is on Instagram. The handle is at a l i dot s underscore a l l e y. So I know it's a little wow. confusing. It's okay. Allie's Alley. What did you buy from them? Uh, a really cool and adorable picture of a ghost watering some plants. Oh, I remember you getting you that. Remember. That was yes. cute. That's so cute. this is a story uh, from Allie. So first of all, thank you very, very, very much for. Um, for posting a story, for hearing us. Give us all your stories, everybody. Please send more. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. So this story is from my friend's boss. Mm. He went on a hike one day, as we Pacific Northwesterners often do. This was on a remote trail where he didn't really run into any people. After a while of hiking, he was warming up, so he took off his jacket and sat down on a big rock to cool off. All of a sudden, a giant, hairy creature walking on two legs came out of the trees. He jumped up and ran as fast as he could all the way to his car, which was parked at the trailhead. In his startled flight response to this encounter with Bigfoot, he'd left his jacket in the spot he had sat down to rest. Mm. However, when he got back to his car after running from Sasquatch as fast as he could, he found his jacket neatly folded on the hood of the car. Wait. Say that again. However, when yeah. he got back to his car okay. after running from Sasquatch as fast as he could, uh -huh. he found his jacket neatly folded on the hood so he's of the car. So he's sitting on the log, sees Bigfoot. Oh, the rock. The rock. The rock. Sitting on the rock, sees Bigfoot. Gets oh, up, says, shit. oh, F this. Accidentally leaves his jacket. Just but dips. But Bigfoot l beats him to his car and folds Okay, yeah, that's jacket. what I'm curious about. Did Bigfoot, like, sprint ahead of him? Yeah. Fold it like a Target employee and set it out? Yeah, on the hood. Wow. Well, remember, he can, like, walk faster than we can run. So, what? Uh, with, like, a nine-foot gate? <clears throat> Are you kidding me? He's not 20 feet tall. <sighs> There's literal you know humans so that are, like, seven, eight feet tall <laughs> that can't out-walk runners. Man. I mean, you also got Bigfoot magic. Duh. I'm sure, Come like, on. one tree. How long you been on this podcast? You think he was, yeah. you you think he was power like walking? No, I think he just, like, no. teleported over there. Probably. You maybe. You think he teleported? Maybe yeah. he was just doing something nice. Why so, yeah. she says, she continues, so not only is Bigfoot wandering the forests of Washington State, but he's also just a real nice guy. Oh. Hey. Making sure, uh, making probably... sure those he catches off guard get their belongings and returned in a very polite and humanely fast, oh, an inhumanely fast manner. It's probably, probably that Bigfoot like, from Bigfoot's Wild Weekend. Oh. Just wants to chill and party and stuff. If he was a bra, then he would have kept it. Probably. Um, he, or maybe he's like, don't litter in the woods. You better take this back. Um, you know what, Bigfoot? I have a lot of things that you can fold in my house. Have <laughs> <Dang. laughs> you like it, folding stuff? Oh, God. You can teleport to uh, my house and fold anytime. <laughs> That's, what would you that guys is really crazy. If Bigfoot. you didn't see That's wild. Bigfoot, or even if you did see Bigfoot, but then that happened, and you were like, oh, "How did this get to back death? No. to my hood?" No, I how did this get here? You know what? If that happened to me, I'm gonna go back. You're gonna take the. You're gonna pick up the jacket and go. Mm -hmm. I'm going back there. Yeah, 
Because obviously he would have killed you cool. if he wanted to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, he, if Bigfoot wants me down, he'd go and just chase me down. Okay, in so me. let's Maybe say it was a warning though. And if you did go back and he'd be like, "Yo, you <laughs> fucking left your jacket he was here. Like, I don't want you he's here." Like, again. Here's he's like, "Here's your jacket." He's like, "Get he up was and go." He's like, "Your door. car's here." I don't know, if like, it was a warning, it would have been like my jacket would have been just thrown or like maybe he doesn't litter. Something. He was like, "Hey, bitch, clean up your shit." Yeah, maybe it's a female. But it was nice and folded and stuff. Well, maybe he just likes what's clean. He's like, "Oh my god, listen, bitch." <laughs> so get your shit off my rock. Anything's this possible. This is my rock. It's anything's possible, man. I like Damn, this Bigfoot. Crazy. But if that happened to me, what sucks is like no one's gonna believe you. You tell that story and everyone's uh, gonna be like, oh, okay, sure. But it's like it I don't know how it got there. I will say I also am not, I'm not running. <laughs> From Bigfoot? Listen, I'm fat just, and slow uh, and out of shape. Take me. Like any situation like that, Bigfoot, sharks, monsters, ghosts, So you're whatever. telling me. In your fight or flight response, you don't have a flight. I don't have a flight. So you only have, well, I guess we're just I, posting I, up. I guess, yeah. I guess no. like, let's well, go. That's what we're going to do here. <laughs> What's like, the opposite of flight, it then? It takes through the tango. Even the, fight, even the fight's only going to last like five seconds. <laughs> I'm going to be winded and done. So, so it's, it's just. Sit <laughs> or fight. Sit or fight for you. Yeah, I guess so. Stay or fight. Not it's just death, pretty much. Fight like or it's die live or, or fight. It's, yeah, yeah, it's live or die. Fight much, or try a little and then die. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe like it's because it wasn't the jacket wasn't Bigfoot size. If it was like his size, and he'd be like, oh, oh, he was Bigfoot like Bigfoot tried it on first. Damn it! Was like, like, damn. He was like, he's like, I love the Mandalorian. Damn it! If it was only my size.